a, a, um, we found a, a really deteriorated old log on the place uh, and it had a hive in it uh, and it was all the big old log and it was all rotten and just all the white ants had eaten most of it. So we've taken the um, taken the hive out and we just got it sat it in that esky there at the moment and um, we're going to try and transfer it into a into an oat. Uh, so we'll um, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll lift the lid off this. I'll just cover up because I'm a bit of a wimp and they uh, these hockings I really get into me and get up in my beard and uh, bite the hell out of me. So I'll cover up. It's good for me and good for the bees because they get squashed in my beard. And I've got my brother-in-law helping me here today. <laughs> he's just stepped back out of view. <laughs> so uh, he's, a, he's a pretty good bee spotter. He's found some and my sister who's doing the filming. Right. So we walked around the property over the last couple of days and for some reason the bees are very active and they're out. Oh, I don't know what they're doing, but they're out. Uh, so we're, it was easy to find this hive and I found three others that we've butted up to. So that makes a total of, I've got 15 butted on logs on the property now and that's in only three and a half acres. So that's, that's unheard of. Right, I will open this up and now and see. So we've just removed it. That's all that was left inside the log. It was all rotten. So now we're going to try and bake it apart and transfer it into an, an oat. I think the top is this end. Top's this end, you reckon? Yeah. So we, we should have, we had, we would have liked to keep it the orientation that way, but okay. So that's our hive. And as you can see, it was all, it's just all rotten in the log. Um, I'll let all these bees find their way home. Okay, now let's start. I don't know, this is a new experience for me, this one. Breaking them up like this. Oh, there's gonna be honey, there's gonna be a big mess everywhere here. We'll just break it up until we can find the brood. Maybe I might have to get much rougher and just go through the centre there or something. Uh, see there's quite a few bees. Yeah, got bees down here. Yeah. I think we're going to have to get pretty rough and just sort of, we might put a cut through here or something and see what we find. Yeah, yeah. listen, we'll try sort of loosening down yeah. from the top. We'll try a vertical split. Sorry bees, but your home was no good. Okay, that should split perhaps. Feels pretty loose. That's all, oh, no, just not. No, it's not going to do it. It's not going to work easy with us. It's all soft there, there's nothing there. There's going to be some forward fly around after this because it's going to be a lot of mess. I'll just bite it. Key. Might have to give her a bit of a. Uh, uh. There we go. That's got it. It's cracking now. Uh. Okay, now if you get a film of this, we should open up the brood in there somewhere. Yeah. There's a bit of brood here. No clear. What have we got? What a mess. What a mess. There's brood there. Hmm. Dear, oh dear. It's a very messy hive. Keep an eye out for the queen. 
Yeah, she don't want to lose her. Oh, there's brood there. Oh, it's very messy. Brood right up in there. Mm. Oh boy, this is messy. So, what do you think? So the brooder is there. Yeah, you sort of split it in half, I think. <coughs> very, very messy. Sorry, girls. Well... I've sort of, there's brood all through all this structure here, so there's even brood back there. So I don't know whether to do a bit of a cut through here. It's very messy. Hopefully. Boy, that's one messy extraction. Anyway, what do you think? Just yeah, I think in just... like that, and then try and get the other half of the brood to go back against it. It's a very, very messy split. Let's try and stand that upright. <laughs> Same orientation that it was. Sorry, girls. Now, I can't see any more there. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Oh, God knows where this queen is. God knows where she is. So, sort of an on an angle. Doesn't don't know how far back it goes. Right down to there. Oh, crikey. That is messy. No finesse about this one, I'm afraid. <clears throat> that looks like the main part of the brood. That bit. Okay. Basically the queen's in there. Yes. What a messy old hive that one is. Plenty of stores, though. Yes. So we might... Uh, even the stores are messy, though, aren't they? Like, sometimes you pull them out and they're all... Like, it's a nice cluster you can just pull out in one clump. But obviously in that old tree, they were in... They were fairly stressed in there by the look of it. Okay. Uh, I might just... So, oh, this one here I meant to show you. We're putting it in uh, a couple of Rockhampton blokes are doing vertical splits now. So I took on board some of the things they said. So I'm trying some vertical splits. So there's the join there. And in time, if this hive is successful, we'll split it down there and uh, propagate that way. Now, I just tried to, I'd like to get a bit of stores to put with them. But uh, it's such a mess. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. Just like a nice clean section, but there just isn't any. Oop. Oh, it's even messy. 
No, I don't want to put water in the hive. Uh, yeah, there's not one part of it you can see. Oh, here's a bit of honey here. There's a bit cleaner section there. If we can get that bit out, that might do as our stores for them. some pollen, there's a heap of pollen there. So we might, yeah. There's pollen and honey there. What do you reckon about, just about that much, Stephen? Oh. We'll just give them a little bit. And it's all messy, it's not ideal having it, honey weeping out of it and everything like that, but we've got no choice, because it's such a messy thing. Uh, Okay. Don't know now, just time will tell, I suppose. Do you think put any more in or? Uh, not for that much honey weeping. Mm. We don't know whether we've got the queen or anything. Anyway. Heaps of pollen there. Had a very, very messy hive, that one. So, um, what do you reckon? Just close her up and we'll uh, just hope that... Well, you want to try and shake some bees in there or...? Well... I think they'll all find their way. They'll go home. Might just, yeah, put some stuff up so they can climb up there. So they'll all have to make their way home. Uh, this one there. There we go. Righto. Let me just wash my hands. Just looking for the queen just to make sure she's not. Should be in with the brood. But... Yeah, but it was so messy, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think that's about all we can do for these girls. I say it was very messy. I can go back a bit, yeah. Steve, if you want. We'll have all forehead fly and everything coming in with all the spilt honey and whatnot. But anyway, you can't avoid that. So, <clears throat> just wash a bit of honey off that sheet there. Put a little bit of honey on it. Yeah. You reckon that they... They're starting to wake up because they're starting to bite me. <laughs> so obviously it is early morning. So we tried to, it's only 13 degrees, so we're trying to get them while they were slow moving. Okay, I think we'll close her up, eh? And, yep. Uh, brush. You got water on that, you idiot. Come on, girls, in you get. Oh, there's one there, get in there. Okay, sorry about that girls, but you needed a new home. Right. Now, it's just yep. up to them to, hopefully we've got the queen in there, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too, um, promise, uh, what do you call it, confident that she's there in that big mess. And hopefully everyone will work their way home. Hmm. Righto. Righto, anyway. So that was an example of a very messy, um, oh, not a split, but uh, transfer. transfer, yeah. It's very messy. Worst one I've done, I think. Anyway, hopefully, fingers crossed, we've got the queen and everything will settle down. 
Uh, we'll get some more coverage uh, over the next couple of days and weeks and just see how this is going and see if it's successful. Righto, check us later.